The portion of Vayakil is primarily a review of the making of the sanctuary in the desert. At the beginning of the portion, Moses is told to gather the Jewish people together and to tell them about the Shabbos. Our sages tell us that because of the juxtaposition of the Shabbos to the making of the sanctuary, we learn two things. One, that the making of the sanctuary does not supersede the Shabbos, and two, that those things which were done in the sanctuary is defined as work, and that is what is prohibited, and if it was not done in the sanctuary, it's not prohibited on Shabbos. Question can be asked, such a primary focal point of Judaism, the keeping of the Shabbos, and the building of the sanctuary, why is it that the law about these things is learned from an illusion by a juxtaposition? Why doesn't the Torah just bring it out? The answer to this question lies in the name of the portion, by Yaakil, to gather together the community. Were it to say that you may not do the following forbidden laws on Shabbos, or were it specifically to say that the making of the sanctuary does not supersede the Shabbos, we would have thought that it's perfectly okay for a person to hermit themselves away and not have anything to do with anybody on the Shabbos. But we're told specifically by Yaakel Moshe, Moshe gathered together the people to tell them about the Shabbos. The Shabbos, it is true, is La Hashem, as it says in another verse, that it belongs to God. But the Almighty gave it to us in order that we interact, we act in a communal way, and in order to find the Einig Shabbos, the delight in Shabbos, and indeed a person who sits by themselves, cloistered away from everybody, is not experiencing the true Onig, the real delight in keeping the Shabbos, is when it's done together with others. For the you, Parsha, I'm Herschel Finman.